Welcome to part two of the Emperor's Mausoleum tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. All right, so last time we had finished this phase here, so of course we're going up to the next block level. Today, I think we're also beginning the statues. I think I said I wanted to cover all the statues in one video, which is probably gonna make the entire series a uh, whole video longer than it might otherwise be. But uh, there's so many statues here, we just need to, we're just gonna have to do that. Uh, so here is the first block level for that. Uh, remember, do remember the other statue over here you want to be mirroring on the other side of the center line right there. Uh, for the columns, of course, extend up the diorite. Same deal for the four plasters at the back. And the rest of the exterior here is going to be uh, just a layer of stone bricks with a cobblestone or no filler behind that, depending on how you want to build it. Uh, I think uh, this building it, it, it ha has not been optimized with the filler blocks. So I, I wrote down the, the bill of materials for the cobblestone by quite a lot on that. Um, let me see. We need to go back. What, we need to start uh, on the inside right here above the doorway for the wall panels and the plasters made out of quartz. Pretty simple design, really, except for the doorway. Once you do one wall panel and one pillar, they're all exactly the same. In here, all the way around the room. Uh, detail, though, for the cenotaph. Or the, uh, the coffin. Here, we just got um, uh, upside-down quartz stairs all the way around, big rectangle, and cobblestone filler behind that. All right, our next phase here is take a top-down view of the next set of blocks for the statues. These are pretty simple statues, really. They're just all full blocks. There's only three or four materials in them. I don't think you'll have any trouble with those. Do remember, of course, to reverse it on either side of the center line. Uh, extend up the columns, the pilasters back here. Of course, we're doing our patterning with the tuff and the cobble. Alternating every two blocks, except for there in the middle. It just kind of, that's how it worked out. Just doing the same thing all the way around the building. And then of course it doubles on the other side of the, the center line there. Although if you want to, you can make this panel here look, um, I think it would look the same as maybe Maybe uh, maybe that panel there. You don't have to do it in that exact uh, way. It, it, it comes out that way because it's an artifact of how I built uh, the building. I built exactly half of the building, and uh, then it got um, uh, mirrored on itself. All right. Uh, what is um, next? Right, the interior. Okay. A little rusty. Uh, so here, wall panels and plasters, simple detailing, quartz, copper, and lapis. For all the wall panels there, once you do one of those, all the others are pretty much the same. Uh, we Now we have detailing here, though, for the uh, the top lid of the center tap. You've got a lot of expensive materials here with the deep slate diamond door. And then, of course, we have an effigy of uh, the uh, the occupant of the tomb. And that's where the, the red nether brick and the deep slate tiles comes in right there. In that pattern. Uh, next detailing for the, the statue here. Just like so. And uh, reverse the block placement for that one over there. Uh, same deal for the pillars and the plasters, the diorite. The exterior here is just all, you know, one layer of stone bricks. You're still extending up all the pillars. We don't really have to waste time looking at that too much. You can just, you can just tell from what we've already been doing with the pattern what you ought to do there. Uh, interior, same detailing again for the pilasters and the wall panels. Just like so, same detailing. As before, extend it one block level up. Uh, in here, though, we do have a little bit more detail for the effigy. 
on top of the lid of the cenotaph or sarcophagus, depending. It's only a cenotaph if there's nobody inside. And some very expensive diamond blocks worked in here. Just like so. And we will go on to the next phase. So let's take a look at the next bit of the statue here. As we go, we're going to take a look at this particular statue. And I will let you, of course, do, do the reversing for the mirror image of that statue. All right, extend up the pillars and the pilasters with the diorite, and here we are, of course, doing our alternating patterns of toughened cobblestone, just like so. You, you already know how to do this, so we'll just take a quick scan right on by that. And then we'll go into the interior. We're doing the same thing again for the pilasters and the wall panels. You want to extend all of those up, same patterning we you've been doing, by one block level. Then we'll take a look at the detailing for the effigy. With all the, the quartz stairs and the deep slate tile stairs and all that good stuff. There. Of course, if we get a little altitude, you can see it's supposed to be, uh, and an, you know, a carved out image of a uh, person laying laying in repose below, like so. And let's go on to the next phase. Take a look at the next part of the statue here. I'll try and scan all the way around this. It can be a little, a little difficult just from one angle. All right, Let's extend up all the diorite pillars and pilasters on the exterior here. We're doing, of course, just another simple layer of stone bricks. Just like so, all the way around the exterior of the building. Uh, on the interior, uh, the pilasters are the same. The, the panels, a little bit different. We're starting to cap those off with some lapis right here at the top. Once you do one of those panels, you want to do all the other panels in the room the same. Uh, and we just have to now add the sword here for the top of the effigy. And of course, to help light the whole thing up, we've got just a single seed lantern there for that. Of course, he's using a diamond sword. You can upgrade this to netherite if you so choose. But, you know, I'm, I'm a bit old school in my materials. I still view diamond as the, the, the top tier material. It looks a lot nicer to build with than the netherite anyway. Or this kind of thing. All right, let's go on to the next phase. Take a look now at the next part of the statue. Pretty rough and irregular statue design. But it's also kind of simple, too. All right, extend up all the dar right here for the, the pillars and the pilasters and everything. You can see on the exterior here, we're just doing another reversal of the tuff and the cobblestone. Just like that, all the way around the building. Uh, the top of the uh, uh, effigy and the lid is now done, so your entire uh, cenotaph slash sarcophagus, depending, is now done. Uh, the interior of this, uh, uh, the wall panels are pretty simple. It's straight five blocks of uh, waxed cut copper all the way across. Extend up all of the quartz pilasters on the side of the wall. And that's all there is for the interior of the room on that phase. Let's go on to the next one here. Take a look at the next part of the statue. Just like so. All right, extend up the pillars and the pilasters. Around the exterior, you know the drill, layer of stone bricks all the way around. 
just like so. Uh, in here, uh, a small detail change for the wall panel. Otherwise, the pilasters, according to the quartz pillars and everything, are just going straight up just like so. And since we're finished with that, we only need to look at the detailing of the structure. Uh, next part for the statues here. Like so, extend up the pillars and the pilasters. Exterior, you know what to do. You're reversing the cobblestone and the tuff on this layer. Like so. On the interior, we are putting some blocks of glowstone up here at the top, just like we did down there at the bottom, right there. We're doing it again here at the top. It's one of those things where um, there's no real place to add hidden lighting, and I don't want to place down a bunch of torches if possible. So we're just making a feature out of the lighting blocks instead. So we're just using blocks of glowstone for that. Of course, once you do one of those, all the other, what, 12 wall panels are the same. All right, next phase. We're finally, finally done building the tall Corinthian column shafts. Uh, oh, let's take a look at the statue first. Uh, we've got uh, one arm outstretched over here. And we're building. I think they, I think the other one is raised up a bit. And of course, if this were a real Roman statue, we would want to have it garishly painted. Um, but this is more of a Renaissance aesthetic, so it's it's more of a plain color. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so uh, tops of Corinthian capitals, upside down. Cobblestone stairs, all four sides of all four front pillars. All front three sides, you want to do that for the pilasters. All four of those. Behind that, of course, you know the Jarrell stone bricks. Do the same for the four pilasters on the side here for the capitals. And then the four pilasters here at the back. All right, uh, detail for the wall panel. All 12 wall panels are going to be the same as that one. Uh, and all the pilasters in here are going to be the same as this, too. Just like we did for the exterior, we're now doing it for the interior, but we're doing it with quartz. Because we're spending uh, all of it, well, not quite all of our money, but a lot of our money for the expensive materials is going to be used on the interior of the building. All right, next phase here for the statue. Let's take a look at that. Right there for the pilasters, you uh, for the pillars and the pilasters, all the col uh, column capitals are the same. Upside down uh, stone brick stairs or polished andesite stairs, probably my preferred actually for this instead of the, the instead of that. Um, but yeah, replicate that pattern on all four plast uh, all four pillars and however many, what all uh, what twelve exterior pilasters doing the alternating of the tuff and the cobblestone. On the walls, just like we've been doing. All right, same deal on the interior. Very simple for the wall panels. Five blocks of copper straight across all twelve panels. For all the interior pilasters, uh, we've only we've only got one type of quartz stairs, so you know just just use that twice, and replicate that. All right, moving on to the next phase here, next part of the statue. I think um, we did that part already, so we're just doing the central section here. All right, uh, and for the capitals, uh, we want to do even more stone brick stairs or polished andesite stairs here uh, to replicate our acanthus leaves for our Corinthian capitals. Just like so. And once you do that, you want to do that, of course, the same on on all four sides of your columns and all three sides of the plasters for all 12 plasters around the building doing, of course, a layer of stone bricks 
right behind those. Just like so. All right, for the interior, of course, we're doing the same thing, uh, but with quartz. And for the wall panels, you just want to shove in another five blocks of cut copper right behind that. I suppose uh, since these blocks are not visible from any angle, you could save yourself a couple of blocks of cut copper off the bill of materials if you want to, and just put three on the wall panel there. And that'll be good enough. All right, here. Uh, next phase, next detailing for the statue. One of many statues in this building. Of course, the key feature of the mausoleum is known for all its, its many sculptures. Actually, the, uh, the, the, the building wasn't the, the thing that made it the wonder of the world. It was all the statuary that was uh, encrusted over the entire thing. At least that's, how, that, that's what the ancient accounts say, anyway. Uh, so here we've got all of the, uh, we've got a big diorite layer now because we're finished with the columns. So now you know what that means, of course. That's right, we're building the entablature. So we want to do that with just a, a, big, a big layer of diorite in this pattern here, connecting all the tops of the columns to the pilasters and to the, the entire building behind it. Mm. See right there? Pretty simple. And then just follow the exterior of the building and then come out a couple of blocks, attach all the pilasters there in the corner and then the same here at the back. All right, for the interior, we're doing the same thing except we're doing it out of chiseled quartz. Just like so, and all you really need to do for that is just make a big square all around the building, connecting the tops of all the columns, well, all the pilasters, together. That's an easy phase. Uh, next phase, uh, go around on top of all of the diorite and put down a layer of cobblestone, uh, except, for, except for in the middle here, for all the exterior. And then in front of that, we're going to put down an upside down a string course of um, stone brick stairs here, although I would recommend upgrading these to polished andesite stairs. I think it'll look better. If you did the upgrade for the uh, the column capitals, you would definitely want to change that for this. I mean, th there's not that much difference between stone bricks and polished andesite. I just, it just looks a little uh, smoother, I think. And you can see behind that, we're just filling all that in with cobble. Uh, back here at the front, though, you do want to do this a little bit differently and extend up the diorite on the interior for these three squares. Uh, for the interior, again, we're doing, of course, upside-down quartz stairs, big rectangle all the way around the interior, and then just back that with uh, cobblestone or, or, or whatever material you have handy. I mean, you could use, you know, it can be even be dirt if you want to. Oh, did I skip the statue? I kind of think I might have skipped this. Well, let's take a look here at this in case I did skip the statue. So much to take a look at, I can I can't forget sometimes. Sorry about that. There we are. We're almost finished with those statues. Uh, we'll take a look at the completed uh, that statue over there when they're done. Uh, so next phase here, we want to go back, uh, cut one block back behind the upside down stairs and put in uh, diorite for the exterior, just all the way around the building, a big line, like so. You can back all that with cobblestone or uh, nothing if you're leaving it hollow. Uh, here, though, we want to now put uh, three squares of tuff just like is shown here. There, there, and there. On the interior, you want to cut back a block then and do the chiseled quartz again. Uh, but uh, ignore the die right on the edges and just do a big square of chiseled quartz for the interior. 
Uh, next phase here, let's take a look at the statue. Just a couple more blocks. I think it might only be one more block. Right there for that. All right, uh, now go around on the exterior of the previous phase and extend up the entire thing of diorite by one block. Once you have done that, starting here at uh, along the center line, uh, place a slab, and then every other block you want to, of course, you know, place another slab. See, turning the corner here. Uh, some places it, you're going to end up putting two slabs. That's just how it worked out. Uh, because we do want to have the hanging slab on the corners here. And, you know, we're just in Minecraft. We were, we were off. The, the dimensions of this only allow for that to be squished into the corner there. So that's what we did. Like so, with uh, the pattern all the way around the building. It's only in that one little section that we had to do the squishing. All right, and now to cap these, uh, the coffers off from the bottom, which is 3x3 diorite in all three of those. Just like so, and then your portico is going to be finished. Well, the, the underside of the portico is going to be finished. All right, so on the interior here, we are putting down more chiseled quartz, and we're doing the same thing for the quartz uh, dentils, just like so. Every other block, you should have uh, one block at, uh, free there in the corner. Let's we'll give you a top-down view, and that'd be the easiest thing to see. Uh, replicating that pattern there. All right, next phase, more, more detailing for the Corinthian entablature. So you can see uh, on the top of all of wherever you put down the cobblestone slabs, uh, go around on top of these and put a full, a full block of cobblestone, okay? All right, so once you have done that, every other block beside that cobblestone, you want to put in a chiseled uh, stone brick, just like so. And then in front of the chiseled stone brick, you want to put a cobblestone wall, or you can upgrade this to a, a, an andesite wall, I think, would look a little bit better if you want to do that. Uh, and, of course, here for the stairs, you can put in just uh, straight cobblestone stairs. Or if you want to get fancy, you could use more polished andesite, you know, half slabs and stairs, or maybe regular andesite. I'll leave that up to you exactly how you want to do that. We we're going to have a floating... A floating wall there in the corners. Otherwise, this this little module here, this little the two block thing right here, it's just a repeating pattern. Uh, it gets squished into the corner here in this little in, in that spot just a little bit, like so with the double walls. Otherwise, the pattern fairly regularly continues throughout the building. You've already got the pattern established with the half slabs you laid down, so just ruthlessly apply the pattern all the way around the building, and it should come out okay. All right, uh, on the interior here, you want to do the same thing, but simpler. You know, no, we don't have any quartz walls that I'm aware of, not, 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 at least not at this point in time. I don't know how long quartz has been in the game, but we still don't have quartz walls. Can you believe it? Well, anyway, enough complaining. Uh, so every other block you want to do according to where the half slabs are, you want to have upside down quartz stairs. Uh, we can't really make this one face both directions, so just you know squish it in the corner and turn the, and just keep them, and keep going. It doesn't really matter which way you have this facing. It could be facing that way. It could be facing this way. It's only good face one way. No, we can't do the double corner double corner stairs without anything attached to it that I'm aware of. So. I mean, there's probably some mod that'll do that, but it's just a, it's, it's a very tiny detail. Nobody will ever notice that. Just place down the stairs and keep going. Oh, wait. I forgot the statue again. Did I forget this? Okay, it's, this is the last phase. So uh, all you have to do for this statue, finish off a block of, block of cut, cut copper right there, and that entire statue is finished. Well, let's take a look at the uh, this one here, at least from a distance. So if you mirrored everything correctly, you should have this statue on the other side. 
But if you don't, well, I'm going to take a look at it here so you can kind of, you know, double check what you've done. And get it all in, crammed in the corner here against the side of the building. But it's just a simple, you know, roughed out organically shaped statue. If you make, you know, if you have a couple of blocks off here or there, it's nobody's going to notice. I wouldn't notice if I came and looked at it yourself, uh, m myself, so uh, you shouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, so here, right on top, we want to extend out the now the cornice of the entablature. So you can see we've just got uh, stone bricks right on top of all the walls and the upside down stairs. And in front of that, we want to have the cornice uh, overhanging for the, the stairs and everything, just like so. And uh, this one looks like there's an extra stair there that probably shouldn't be back there. You want to bend the stairs all around just like so. All the way around the building. And that will finish off the Corinthian entablature, which you're going to be building that a couple more times, so... At least you have some practice. Uh, so here, uh, very simple uh, quartz, every other block here between the stairs, and then in front of that you want to do a big rectangle of upside down quartz stairs. All right, so now we're we're done fooling with these statues here. We just need to talk about what is going to be. Uh, we're going to slowly be capping off the uh, interior of the tumulus in there and in here we are going to I mean out here we are going to be now um, uh, adding the roof and the pediment onto the building all right so let's start here at the corner of the cornice and this block here of course we're adding is going to be the raking cornice because you know it, you know, it, it rakes a little bit over the cornice so that's why it's called that so instead of uh, trying to badly describe this assemblage of half slabs and full blocks. I'm just going to show it to you very slowly. Uh, same deal, just straight across the front, and then of course you're just mirroring the entire thing on the other side. Right there. Let's take a look at the edges first, then we'll bother about the roof tiles. So we just got a full block of cobblestone all the way back here. And then here it doesn't hang over the cornice right here. It sits right on top of it, turns the corner, but it does sit right on top of it back here because we've got the, the triangular pediment that's going to be sitting on this top, or rather on, on top of this side of the decorative uh, uh, pilasters and everything over here. And you just want to do the same exact design that you did over there. Once you do one of those, all of the other uh, uh, um all of the others over here are going to be exactly the same. See? And then just straight along the middle, and then do that again. Mirror imaged everything right here, just like so. Cobble on top of the corners, and at the back, of course, it's the same as the sides, and the same as the front. All right, now behind that, we are putting down a little bit of red nether brick and deep slate tiles. That's, of course, this is the very beginning of our roof tiles. And there's not, not really a whole lot of roof tiles on, on this particular building. But we do have some on the lower sections of the, the pediments down here at the bottom. Of course, once you do one of those, that corner back there is just a mirror image of this one here. And some simple detailing for that there. Uh, for the interior of the room, very simple. Gold ore. Big square uh, right on top of the quartz stairs. All right, uh, next level up. Let's start here at the corner again. Take a look at the next sections. Try and show you that from every level. It's just uh, a full blocks and half slabs. That's all there is to it. 
Same deal for the roof tiles, alternating the full blocks and the half slabs, just like so. Checkerboard pattern. Like that there. Note the half slab here. And then just turn 90 degrees, continue the pattern. And so on and so forth. Remember what I told you? That over there, you're doing the same thing, but you're going to be doing it... Uh, what is it? Two, four. So you're going to be doing the same mo little module here for just eight times. See? It's the same as what we already took a look at the first time. So you just want to do that here on the mirror image of the pediment, just like so. And then everything you did over there, we're just turning it uh, 90 degrees and building it back here again. So you can refer to what you did over there. And you just want to build it back here again. Same deal for the pediment and everything. They, they, these are literally just copied and pasted of each other on the four faces of the building. The only difference with the front here is the, the uh, roof extends out a little bit farther. Oh, and on the interior of the building, you just want to extend up the gold ore one additional block level. This is the old gold ore texture, but it, the, the new one will work just as good. Uh, if you want to, you can upgrade it to the, uh, the, 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 the what is it called? The, the, uh, the, 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 the raw gold, I think. Uh, that would also look nice. Uh, so, I uh, hear, uh, next detailing for this section. Let's slow, very slowly take a look at the, the, the one module of this. Uh, once you do enough of this, you're going to see that it's that it, it it too is a repeating pattern, just like you know everything in the building. Uh, but it's just being shifted over a block or two every time it's being constructed. And this little uh, uh, two by three da right here is that's the platform for the decorative acroteria on the set on. Now roof tiles behind that same pattern, just shoved further over that way. And you can see here we have some alternating tough and cobble now. Just like so. And of course all of this here, you know, just like you did over there, you're doing it again over here. And then this entire section is rotated 90 degrees and placed back here again. And I'm not sure why there's some extra copper there. I don't think there should be. I think that's just some leftover blocks. In fact, those aren't visible. Just uh, just ignore that, that copper. Fill that in with cobblestone instead. Uh, here, now we want to do another square of gold ore, except we are hanging it one block over the previous one. That's because the technique we're using here is we are corbelling it to uh, make the dome. Because uh, uh, the, 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 the Muslim of Halicarnassus is a bit older than Roman architecture. So they're not going to have the, the technology to put in interior domes like that. But what they could do was they could corbel things. And sometimes they would even diagonally corbel things too. To get a dome that way, sort of make a weird octagonal type thing. Some people think that the mausoleum was actually built that way on, on the upper levels. Uh, but of course, since there's so little of the mausoleum extant today, we, we really don't know. Um, all right, so next section here, you, you can kind of see now how there's just a repeating pattern, you know, the co cobblestones going that way, the stone bricks every other block that way. This is just a straight angle going up that way, or half a block every time it goes up, just like so. Convert that to cobble. I don't think we need that. Uh, upside down, cobblestone stairs right there for that. Roof tiles behind that. Then stone bricks here for the corner. And then, of course, all of this assemblage here is just like we took a look at over there for all the rest of the pediments. So I think I beat that to death, so I'm not going to explain it anymore. 
I will just leave you to construct it. All you have to do is just take take a look at um, you know it's just the same as what we already looked at, so there's no there's no real point in looking at it again. But you can rewind to that point in the video if you need another look at it. Uh, so here, extend up the um, gold ore to a second block level, just like so. Now we're going to be doing that for the rest of the gold ore, by the way. Every two blocks we go up, we're going to hang it one block in. That's how we're going to make our dome. It's going to be sort of an iconical corbelled structure. Uh, all right, so let's kind of start here in the middle. Take a look at the pediment. Uh, I've left the, the, the tympanum uh, just plain diorite on these. Uh, they can be filled in with a bit of random block sculpture if you if you feel so inclined. Uh, now here for our copper acroterions, it's just very simple, very simple block section there. Same detail for the roof tiles. I think you can see where that's going. For the wall behind that, though, we've got the alternating toughened uh, cobble again. Just like so. Uh, I think uh, th the side uh, acroterion here, the, th these are different than that one. So it's just two blocks right there. For all, uh, what is that going to be? Six for all that one, this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then here in the middle, extend up and in another block level here. See, just like I said we were doing with the gold ore, just like so, for our next layer of core belly. All right, now we see our uh, tympanum here meeting at a very pleasing point up there to complete our triangle. Take a look at that here. You can see we, uh, just very occasionally we've got the cutouts for these little half slabs here. I think this is now more easier to see now that we've got a lot of it finished. You know, simple repeating pattern really. It just looks a little complicated to start with, but it's really not. Uh, over here, uh, block detailing for the uh, acroterions on the sides, like so. The roof tiles at, at the top here, uh, slowly coming to uh, an apex. Uh, stone bricks along the, the corners, uh, detailing for these less complicated uh, decorative finials on the sides here. So you're just extending the copper up like so, and of course all the pediments, all four of them are the same. Uh, so here for the gold door, extend that up another block level. We've now got uh, three steps and two core bells right there, and uh, that's all there is to it. Let's go on to the next phase here. Let's take a next look here at the tympanum. Just like so. You can see that the patterns are continuing up very regularly. Just uh, They're just squishing into each other here at the top. Uh, here's the simple detailing for these uh, side acroterion. Just full, all full blocks, no half slabs here. Stairs or anything. I mean, you can try and tease out a little bit more detail on those if you want to. Uh, here is the detailing for the, the top of the roof tiles. They're almost, almost done. Almost done with all the roof tiling. Just like so. Behind that, you can see we've just got, they were back to the alternating cobblestone and tuff. Uh, finish these off with uh, two blocks of cut copper on top of all of these six decorative finials at the back. And build the other three pediments according to the pattern we did at the front. Just like so. Uh, interior here, now that we've gone up two block levels, you know what that means. We want to hang over another block level. Right there, big square of uh, gold door on the interior. Uh, and for this next phase here, you can just extend that up to the second block level. You can kind of see where we're going with that. Don't need to beat that one to death. Uh, so over here, you can see we've just got the, the same patterns. They're just uh, meeting here at the top and squishing into each other. 
just like so. And then just cap the whole thing off with a bit of uh, a stone brick stairs here at the back. Oh, oh dear. I, I missed a roof tile. Uh, let me see. That needs to be uh, red to the brick. And that needs to be another block of uh, deep slate tiles. Yep. Looks like uh, that completely escaped my notice. There's a little hole there. Whoops. Well, you can fix that. That's just two blocks. Nope, not a big deal. Uh, now behind that, uh, we want to put down a big square, a big square of diorite, and just back the entire thing with cobblestone. And uh, we already talked about the, the, the middle corbel there. And then otherwise we finished all the decorative finials. You just want to extend the uh, three pediments along the back. Just the same, just, you know, Smack them right up against the wall. Just like so. All right, uh, next phase, we finished all the hard work on the pediments. Now we're just building the bases for the acritarions right here with this uh, three by three. All right, one, one last half slab there though. Uh, on the back of this, uh, on top of that dar right, go around and put a big square of cobble. And in front of that cobble, we want to put down a big upside down cornice of uh, stone brick stairs or polished andesite stairs, if you so prefer, for those big square all the way around the exterior. For the middle here, you know the drill. Every two blocks you go up, you want to hang in a block of gold ore, just like so. It's a very simple pattern. Uh, all right, here now for the top pediment, uh, top pedestals for the acroterions, you want to do upside down cobblestone stairs, just like so. On all one, two, three, and four of those. Uh, on the interior here, extend up the uh, gold door another block level. And extend up the diorite big square, just like you did down here for that. Do it again up there. All right, uh, next phase, uh, let me see. Have I been taking a look at, uh, I, th I think we finished these. I may have skipped over that. Let me just take a last look at it. They're, they're just really simple, really simple things. In fact, uh, those little two blocks there may be extra. I don't remember, it's been too long. Yeah, could probably do with shaving those off. Uh, but anyway, here's simple detailing for the decorative around here at the top. I think if memory serves, this is a uh, th 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 this already has its own little short uh, tutorial, like like it's literally a YouTube short for the acroterion right there. Uh, so here, extend all that diorite you did at this level here. Extend it up for another block level, and then every other block. Starting right here along the center line, start with a half slab, and then uh, you know the drill. This this here, what we did, what we're doing there, what we did all the way back down here for the Corinthian entablature. Now we're just building another one, but we're just doing a big, large, square one. So it's not it's going to be less complicated than the previous ones. You can see you just have the and get some altitude. See every other block right in front of the dial right. And a big square all the way around the building. You should have a free-floating slab at each of the corners. And then here we have uh, the uh, acroterions along the side. I think uh, these three at the back are going to be different than the one at the front. They have a more simple design. Let's see. All right, here uh, we're almost capped the entire thing off. Just another. Simple square of gold ore there, and then we'll move on to the next phase. In fact, you can you can go ahead and extend that up for two blocks if you want to as well. All right, next section here. Take a look at the acroterion real quick. Sitting on top of there. These side ones have been finished. Uh, and you know the drill with this. This is the same pattern for the Corinthian entablature. This little, this little two-block section here, if you take that as just a little slice, 
and alternate every other block we're just doing it the same as we did before see repeating pattern all the way around the building just like so let's take a little look here at the corner we're going to have the floating cobblestone wall just like that then turn the corner and continue on uh, detail for the three acritarians along the side here at the back well for the sides and the one at the back they're just the same all three it's only the one at the, the front that's different because it has a larger pediment it's just why it's different and that's all there is to that phase let's go on let's take a little look at the next section of this acritarian here at the front simple detailing for that uh, and then, of course, we're putting the cornice on the entablature again here. Same deal. A big square upside down. Uh, uh, um, it's a big square of upside down stone bricks, uh, uh, stairs, or polished andesite stairs. And behind that, just back the entire thing with a layer of stone bricks. And then you can just fill it in with a big sheet of cobblestone if you want to. And then you can see we're capping off. We now have only 3x3 three three left here at the top of the gold. Uh, Corbelled space, so of course we're filling that off with glowstone. Just a 3x3 three three thing of glowstone here at the top. And uh, that is going to be the interior now all done. So from this point on, we're going to be focusing on the exterior uh, as we go. However, I think that this here. No, this is actually we got a lot we got a lot to do but i think this, this is actually going to be a good stopping place actually i think we have done we did we did quite a lot today we've got pretty pretty high up in the building we've got the first and the second entablature done and now we're going to be building the, the entire next section it's going to be a bunch of uh pillars and interior things and several more statues and, and everything like that uh but since that's going to be a, a big mess we are going to save that for part three so I hope you have enjoyed the Emperor's Mausoleum so far. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.